this is the Best Tech Ornetta, designed by Kambu. Gregor Grabarski from Poland. Kambu, he is a knife designer who works exclusively with Best Tech. And this is uh, one of the signature knives. I believe this is the first one that they came out with by Kambu in the full titanium uh, dress. Uh, this is, as you can see, um, a very organic looking knife. Um, Kambu's knife designs are uh, all sort of evocative of a sort of natural, organic, biomorphic kind of vibe. And they have nice flowing lines, lines that flow from the blade into the handle and uh, lots of specialized ergonomics. By specialized, I mean, you know, choils and swoops, uh, not so neutral. Uh, this knife is the first one that I have experienced in the titanium and M390 and in the frame lock. A little while back, they sent me the blue G10 version uh, with the D2 blade steel. And I'm about to show you another cool version they sent me this time. Uh, that I actually get to keep, which is quite exciting because I do love this blade. This Ornetta uh, knife is just gorgeous. Uh, okay, so this one, their full dress Ornetta, the original, is in M390 blade steel. This is a flat ground blade. It is very sharp, and you have a continuous belly here, uh, terminating in a nice point. Uh, which has all that beef behind it, though it's nice and light uh, right behind. And the weight is lightened up in general with this nice deep fuller and also opening hole there. That fuller is deep enough to, to give you a nice um, place to bury your finger fat or your uh, fingernail to do that uh, double, that uh, reverse flick. A uh, nice big finger choil here, big enough uh, for a, an actual squeezing finger. And you're not going to hurt yourself on that. Um, like I said, M390 blade steel, just a really gorgeous blade. I love all of that belly. Uh, but this first bit is presented in such a, a way that you can actually use it in a draw cut without it slipping out. Uh, if you look at this, you've got not only these very impressive lines and chamfer surfaces but you can see all that micro milling in in these whoops in these various surfaces Let's see if i can get this camera to stop shaking there we go you can see like very tiny pin striping in here and an interesting pattern cross hatched pattern almost looks like a parquet wood floor in those chamfers uh, you got a steel lock bar interface, you know, all the usual stuff. Uh, uh, nice ball bearing action, very smooth. I love this sort of bronzed black wash with the bronze pivot collar. Very nice. I, I do like that pivot too. Nicely, uh, you know, signaturized with that stepped up sort of pyramid look. Very nice flipper tab, great access to the lock bar. Really nice action, very good flipping action too if you use the flipper. Whoops, I said that right as I fail it. But I think it flips so well because my natural place to hold on to this is the clip. I'm not doing any depressing of the um, lock bar, um, not even by accident. And I think that's due to how the whole thing is designed. Um, very comfortable in hand like this. Uh, in this sort of saber grip, also in a hammer grip, also choked up. It's very nice. Uh, this is pointy to me, and it looked like it might present a problem. Uh, but you can still use this in reverse grip and, and uh, hook your, your thumb over that back end. So that's not too much of a concern. you got a uh, backspacer integrated with a um, lanyard loop. You can see more of that texturing on that chamfer. It's pretty cool. I really like Kambu's blade designs, and then I had an opportunity to meet him at Blade Show this year. So that was that was an extra. That was a very nice, very nice thing to do. After having a couple of conversations with him on the podcast, it was great to meet him in person. 
I look at this, it reminds me of the the biomorphic, what do they call them? Uh, uh, the, the aliens uh, designed by H.R. Giger in the alien movies, you know, with Ripley and all that. Uh, what do they call that? Bio, bio mechanical, bio something. In any case, uh, this kind of reminds me of the sort of knife you would see in that movie or the kind of knife that maybe one of those aliens would carry if they were to find reason to carry a folding knife. Um, you know, they just have to be careful not to bleed on it, of course, or uh, that acid will melt it away. Nice and thin behind the edge. It is flat, but really nice and thin. Very sharp knife. Sharp looking and sharp feeling. All right, let me show you this other cool uh, variation. Well, here, I'll I'll show you both variations. This is the, uh, the one I showed recently on the channel. Um, I believe this is untouched by human hands thus far. Um, very nice with the uh, textured layered G10. This is a liner lock edition with N690 blade steel uh, as opposed to the M390 blade steel. So this is a considerable step down in cost. So if you really like the Kombu designs, this exotic design, uh, but maybe aren't up to, um, or you don't like it that much that you wanna pay this money for it, or you're not up to this money or, or what have you. Maybe you're a collector of this design or this designer or of Best Tech Knives and you wanna get everything they have. Well, uh, this blue version is beautiful. I had this for a little while. Um, here and I used it a bit not this one this looks to be brand spanking new uh, and then check this one out <clears throat> it's like a stormtrooper edition uh, that that uh, they sent along here and this has seen a number of hands it's a little bit dirty I'm gonna clean it up and they said I could keep it so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take them up on it uh, I'm happy to have the Ornetta in my in my collection and I have a feeling that in this uh, black and white um, yeah you can really see I can really see the dirt in the camera now um, it was harder to see with the naked eye uh, but just seeing this I have a feeling I'm gonna carry this thing a bit this is D2 very sharp this yeah very sticky sharp edge nicely coated you got that white I've never had a white G10 before and I've never had this sort of stormtrooper setup. And by that, I'm just referring to the black and white. Uh, looks a little bit like the stormtroopers from Star Wars. All right, so these are the other Ornettas. Check them out. Uh, this N690 blade steel is pretty nice for a, for a budget, quote unquote, budget ingot steel. It's very, very nice. Um, and of course, D2, we all know and love D2. So I'm glad I finally got this, the original and the most fine example of this knife in hand. It really feels great with that contouring. I mean, it's so comfortable in hand with the rounded surfaces and the, and the choils and everything, just real nice. Great in hand, great to flip. This is feels really good in the left hand very very nice all right that is uh the ornetta by best tech designed by gregor greg grabarski you know him as combo designer check it out in m390 and titanium take care